Okay, so this next portion is, is incredibly difficult for me to discuss uh, here because I don't want to sound like I'm asking for something for myself. But I want to talk about appreciation. And I want to talk about specifically the thanks button and the donate button. And again, I really want to stress I am not talking about this for uh, personal gain or personal benefit. It's just part of XDA etiquette and I feel like it's it's not being used uh, very well on the whole and I'd, I'd really like to point this out for those of you that might be a little new to XDA or perhaps those of you who uh, have been around for a while and not really sure how uh, best to use that. So we talked last time about asking a question and if you ask a question then um, you you know might get a response back from someone and there's a couple things that we want to talk about in relation to response uh, to someone for instance if you if you get a response back from someone that means somebody took the time to try to answer your problem or your question or to point you in the right direction or to to give you some information and I feel that it is um, paramount that you somehow show your appreciation to that person. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, and I'm just looking at a question here. Your help will be very appreciated. Um, you know, of course, they. I think they're uh, from another country, so their their language might be a little bit broken. But it's it's definite that they have a question, and they uh, they would really appreciate some help. And so. Uh, Fortunately, I think I was able to um, answer their question in this case. And um, in this case, uh, this user, and I, I'm not trying to single out a particular user, um, but in this case, that user did not um, thank me for my response, at least not by pushing the thanks button. So every... every uh, post that's out there that's not posted by yourself you'll see that there is the option to hit the thanks button so you can actually thank someone for uh, asking a good question you can thank someone for answering a question properly or helping someone else or giving information that's worth reading or um, you know uh, being supportive or whatever the case may be um, so if you ask someone a question and they've taken the time to answer your question or they've responded with some information that's helpful to you, uh, I would recommend that you thank them for their post. And you do that on XDA by hitting the thanks button. Now you can also thank other people that are helping someone else if you feel like their information is uh, useful for the group or useful to yourself or that uh, you know there's there's obviously some kind of reason uh, in this case uh, a user named DA Razor read my response and thanked me for this information um, that was actually used to answer someone else's question so don't feel like just because it's not a question that was answered for you that you can't thank them as well I'm not saying you necessarily have to go around and slap everybody's thanks button some things don't need to be thanked some things just really aren't very useful information but if the information is useful if it is helpful to you then I would recommend that you push the thanks button um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that if you're, you're limited to the number of thanks you can give in a day and personally I feel like I try to utilize as many of my thanks button slaps in a day as I can uh, to uh, to help people that are helping others and to help people uh, that uh, I feel their information is useful and to show uh, appreciation for um, work that's been done. So another example would be, for instance, we'll go back to the uh, first page here. If someone builds a custom ROM and you try it out and you like it I would I would recommend to you that you would go ahead and hit the thanks button for that user let them know hey I really appreciated that you built this ROM um, if uh, if you tried out their ROM and you didn't like it 
you certainly don't have to push the thanks button. Um, but something to consider is, uh, you know, developers are people too. And so if a developer is building something for your phone and you don't thank them for it, they may go away. And I, I'm not trying to push you into just hitting every thanks button for every ROM that's ever built for your phone, but just something to consider. A lot of ROMs uh, that get built go unthanked, and uh, a lot of people put a lot of time and effort into them. And what's interesting to me, for instance, I, uh, a while back, got asked to join a forum. Sorry, I got a phone call there. But uh, if, you're, if you're not thanking your developers, eventually your developers are going to, um, to leave. I got, I got invited to help out the um, Samsung Galaxy Note Edge to build some custom ROMs for a while. I actually didn't even have the phone, but they were, uh, they were in a bind. They felt like they didn't have any developer support, and they were requesting that someone would come and build ROMs for them. So I actually worked with a team of really uh, great people over there that uh, they would test it on their device, send me logs, send me information, and I would do the building on my end uh, and was able to build a few ROMs for them. And then uh, as it started to pick up, I was able to actually get a Note Edge phone um, for myself, uh, which I used for a while and was able to... Um, you know, continue building a few ROMs over there. Uh, fortunately for them, a really great developer, um, uh, Mickey387, came back, who had been developing for them before, uh, came back and built uh, built some more really awesome ROMs over there, which was great for them. Um, but the point being that uh, they, they ran out of uh, developers for a while there, and I can't help but wonder if uh, perhaps it was a lack of appreciation that uh, caused their developers to go away. Um, obviously, developers typically work with the phones that they have, and eventually a developer will just get a new phone because it's probably time for a new phone, and then they may move on. That's true. Uh, but a lot of times, developers will move on because the, uh, the area is uh, you know, just no longer conducive to, to development. Um, I actually know a, uh, a couple of uh, um, custom ROMs that I was making that I dropped support for, and I actually know a phone that I particularly dropped support for because the users of that phone were, um, quite frankly, the uh, whiniest people I've ever met. Um, and so I decided, you know, it just really wasn't worth it to continue development on that phone. Um, not to say that uh, for myself, I don't work for the thanks button slap, um, but if there's absolutely no appreciation for the work that you're doing, you start to wonder if it's worth doing at all. So something to consider, if you uh, have some thanks button slaps left, if you appreciate the work that a developer is doing, I highly recommend you go ahead and hit their thanks button. Um, with that, the other side of the coin, if you're stepping into the development world, um, be aware that a lot of your ROMs and a lot of your time, a lot of your effort is probably going to go unthanked. Um, actually, I'm really fortunate on this one. Uh, Twelve users happen to like this, uh, like this um, ROM right here. So that was really great for those people. Uh, to take the time to slap the thanks button to show their appreciation and uh, and to continue there um, but you know if if you're uh, starting to dwindle down and you know maybe only one person is uh, is slapping your thanks button you probably start to wonder if this is a really uh, something worth building um, I, I just to speak to the developer I would recommend that you build ROMs that interest you. Build ROMs that are related to phones that you have or want to work with and uh, and don't do it for the thanks button slap because uh, I can almost guarantee you in 9 out of 10 cases you're not going to get the appreciation that, uh, that you probably uh, feel that you may or may not deserve um, but uh, that's just kind of the nature of how things work 
with the uh, with the thanks button slap. So, uh, kind of a tough topic to uh, discuss there. I hope that uh, nobody listening to this just feels like I'm asking for someone to go around and slap all of my thanks buttons. I just really want to show people how it works, how we should be using it, and, and hopefully encourage people to use it uh, a little bit more often. So.